Now we're going to begin by just taking a look at the inside of this unit and making sort of a cursory observation of what needs to happen. Uh, I'm going to take this guy completely apart and when I do so I want to be able to keep track of where everything goes. So this battery block here runs along like so and then connects to this socket here and so that just comes out like that and that is Looks like it says 60 on it, or 09, depending on what your, what your, uh, uh, CN09, that's what that was. That was CN09 right here. Okay, so that goes like that. And then over here, you have this black cable coming from this part of the circuit board into this guy. This is the effects board, the chorus, the analog chorus board. Um, so that's disconnected. Uh, here is a white cable, and the white cable enters a bundle under a clip. It's clipped underneath, and it runs along like so. Um, all of these cables here, these connectors here, are all ones that go into the uh, removed KLM 367A, which, um, um, I'll be honest with you, I tried fixing the traces on like, this uh, a number of years ago. And in the end, I, I gave up because that board was so rotted, and uh, I'm not the old crow. Um, which is why it's very good to have an old crow board to put in here. Or uh, in the other one. Um, and uh, so this is a green connector that goes between the two of them. And, okay, the key bed goes all the way up to this KLM 366B, which I think is the voice board. Yeah, it's the voice board. Of course it is. That's what makes all of the all of the pretty sounds. So that's uh, or ugly sounds because Poly Six is a pretty gritty machine. And then here is a bundle coming down like that, which goes to this connector here. Note that. Unplug this. The idea here is uh, basically just to keep track of where everything went. So when the time comes to reassemble it all. I'm not too confused. Now, granted, I have service manuals and everything else, but, you know, it's, uh, service manuals are great, but nothing like just having a video of where things go to be satisfied. Two wires, okay, this jumper wire here goes, okay, this is the same two wire connector. So as you can see, uh-huh signal out. Okay, this one actually is the signal wire connector that goes from the voice board over to the analog chorus. So, take care of that, like so. And then this one over here, variable VR8, I think it's just going to a panel. Anyway, I'll unplug that. Okay, that's the red guy, it goes to CN16. Alright, moving along, moving along, and then this brown bunch of wires here comes from uh, this back panel board, the jack board, and comes over here. These are nicely labeled. Okay, like that. And uh, so at this point, I think I've disconnected all of these cables that hold the circuit boards in place. And then let's take a look over at the power adapter and the power board. I'm going to take these off too because I, I'm actually going to scope out replacing this, the bottom of this board. And a couple of, looks like a couple of standoffs banged in there. They're not a big deal. We can, we can figure all that out. Um, now, the Korg Poly 6 has a very unhappy power cable arrangement. This is prior to the days of modules i.e. some modules and stuff. It's this, what I refer to as the lamp cord solution. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. So I'm going to actually cut this right here and um, pull it through because I'm going to replace this uh, with an IEC module. And I'll cut that in there if I have to. But I don't like this, so it's going. One way or the other, I'm not going to have that on these synths. So, uh, I don't know if that impedes their resale value, then so be it, Jedi. Okay, um, so that's going to get unplugged, and then that'll feed through like this, so that'll 
remove some of the issue here because otherwise you'd have to re unsolder these guys. I'm going to leave this wire, I'm going to use this chunk of wire that I pulled through to connect up to the IEC module when it's time to actually put one in. And that's going to be days and days from now. Oops. Okay, and if you were wondering where the, the knobs are from this, I uh, carefully put them in the snap case a while ago. So I have all of the bits and pieces that have been pulled off such as it is. So, okay, cool. Well, these boards are clear. I'm now going to get this key bed out. It's got some bolts underneath, I'm sure. And we'll go from there. Take this down one level further.